going on guys in this video we are going to see how to add or subtract two vectors analytically now let's say we have two vectors like this we have one of the vector 100 newton horizontally and also let's say we have another vector in the same direction like this 150 newton and the resultant vector is going to be addition of these two that's going to be 250 newton because both of them are in the same direction so we can directly add them together so this is going to be just 250 newton in this direction now let's look at us let's look at an example that have opposite directions let's say we have 100 newton in this direction let's say we have another vector in this direction 150 newton so if we have situation like this we put positive for this one we put negative for this one if we add these two together we are going to get negative 50 newton in this direction that's going to be the resultant vector that's going to be the final vector okay and if they ask for the magnitude we don't have to worry about this negative sign it's going to be 50 newton in this direction okay and uh, let's look at some example like uh, let's see what happens if we have two vectors that is perpendicular so first uh, let's say we have 30 newton in the x direction and uh, 40 newton in the y direction so for this one we can use the head to tail method head to tail method is we put the first vector like this and we connect the second vector the tail of the second vector to the head of the first vector so that's going to look like this so we are going to have a right angle triangle so we can find the resultant vector. this is going to be the resultant vector this is going to be the resultant vector we can find the resultant vector using this uh, Pythagorean theorem right that's Pythagorean theorem says fr square is equal to 40 square plus 30 square therefore fr is going to be 50 newton okay 50 newton so that's going to be the resultant vector now let's see what happens if we don't have a parallel vector okay let's get rid of all of these things not parallel uh, let's see what happens if we don't have a perpendicular vector like with an angle okay so let's say we have a vector like this first layer let's say we have a horizontal vector 100 newton let's call this one f1 and let's say we have another vector that is 30 degree with the horizontal 30 degree with the horizontal let's call this one f2 and the value let's say this is 200 newton okay to find this one we have to find all of the xy components and then we have to add them together for this one it's very easy because we only have the x component so f1 x is going to be 100 newton and f1 y is going to be zero because it's horizontal we don't have any shift like we don't have any angle or anything like that it means the vertical is going to be zero let's look at this one for this one we can use the sine cos cosine theta we know that if we make a triangle like this okay if we make a triangle like this this is our y component let's call this one f2y this is our x component let's call this one f2x and we can find these two things using cosine and sine theta we know that sine theta let's look at a general example okay let's draw a general triangle okay let's say this is our force and we have let's draw a triangle exactly same like this okay let's call this angle theta and this is our x component let's call this one fx let's call this one fy and we can find the sine theta by using we know that sine theta is equal to opposite over adjacent so this is going to be fy over fx okay so we can say fy is equal to f hmm, not fy over x fx because hypotenuse right this is our first this is our first f opposite over hypotenuse that's uh, sine theta fy over f and cos theta is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse adjacent is fx over f so from this one we can create an equation like this we can say fy is equal to 
f sine theta and here we can say fx is equal to f cos theta so we are going to do the same thing here because we know that f2 value so we can find the f2y and f2x it's going to be exactly the same here f2y is going to be f sine theta here this is going to be f2 sine theta and the angle is 30 degree so f2 sine 30 degree and we know that f2 is equal to 200 and sine 30 is equal to half so this is going to be 100 newton so f2y is going to be 100 newton and f2x is going to be like this f cos theta uh, here we are going to have f2 cos theta f2 cos 30 degree f2 is equal to 200 and if you multiply this one with 30 degree you are going to get 173.2 173.2 so this is going to be the x component of this vector now we have the x y component for the first vector and also we have the x y component for the second vector so now what we have to do is we have to add the like vectors like x component together we can add the x components together and also we can find the add the right y components together and then we can find the resultant vector okay now let's put the values together f1 x is 100 let's put x components so x components for f1 it's 100 and y component is 0 for f1 for f2 x component is 173.2 and y component is 100 and the addition is going to be this is going to be 273.2 and for this one is going to be 100 and now again we can draw another diagram for this one from this one we know that our new x component is going to be 273.2 and then y component is going to be 100 newton so this 273.2 newton this 100 newton and the resultant vector is going to be the final answer that's going to be the addition of these two vectors so let's write like this let's get rid of this one okay the resultant vector is going to be let's draw with a different color so this is going to be our fr and we can calculate the fr using pythagorean theorem pythagorean theorem says fr is equal to square root of 273.2 square plus 100 square and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 290.9 newton and that's how we do this kind of problems and also if you want to find this angle let's say this is theta and if you want to find the angle you can use the tan theta because we know the opposite and adjacent we can find it using theta is equal to tan inverse fy over fx and here we are going to have tan inverse fy is 100 fx is 273.2 and if you calculate this angle you are going to get 20.1 degree so this is 20.1 degree and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching